Hello and welcome to the finals of the first OP06 Locals tournament that we have on the channel. It's going to be Reiju Vinsmoke versus Sakazuki. Now, Reiju Vinsmoke, one of the new hot decks of OP06 that people have been loving in the early stages of the game. A super fun deck to play. Super excited to finally be able to play this alongside one of the tried and trues and arguably arguably BDIF in the format Sakazuki so good that in Japan it's going to be warranted a ban and also actually worldwide here soon so surviving with Sakazuki as long as you can here it's I mean it's a good deck and you're probably going to see why I don't know I don't know who the winner is but I'd imagine if I had to take a guess that it's going to be a good game so Sakazuki one of the new great additions going first in this is it has a perfect turn one play in the Tashigi the Tashigi a great navy searcher card to find several great pieces in the deck going to be finding Helmeppo there so the Helmeppo going to be really really good to play off of the gecko moira and immediately pitching that to make sure your eight drop can grab it and so reiju now going into their turn at the two dawn turn going to first play that germa kingdom or kingdom of germa and using it pitching the ichiji the seven drop version of it to look around for some pieces some germa pieces so you look at the top three cards and reveal one of the germa cards so going to be looking for some pieces to help fill the puzzle going to think about what they want you've got the ichiji in the discard pile so you don't mind finding the four drop ichiji to be able to eventually evolve into it going to be going for the three costs i'm forgetting that guy's name the niji the niji that allows you to do one of two options later in the game off of that five drop we'll talk about it later but passing the turn they're only having that one play to make at this point sakazuki now at three dawn going to be using the leader effect on rob lucci again rob lucci now hitting the bin early going to be a good resource on that gecko moira's four and two recovery type effects so thinking about what they want to do i think they were thinking about swinging eight at lead uh that would be interesting and they're just gonna do that so a lot of people sometimes see swing five with lead and then five again with tashi going for two poke damage but i think trying to more guarantee life at this point so life is going to be taken from the reju at three four dawn sorry if i knew how to count four dawn now several cards in hand remember that with the germa kingdom stage card you do have to trash a card in hand so trashing another evolution in that yonji that blocker that four cost blocker will be real nice going to be thinking about what they want to pick up they do have a germa searcher i see in there so could effectively play that at this point but at four dawn you kind of need a dawn minus effect here soon to be able to kind of stay in the game and play your rejuven smokes and be able to draw cards to continue your game plan so that four drop ichiji like i was mentioning earlier a really really good option right there and we could see that rush ichiji come down and swing so first swinging five at the sakazuki just trying to get a card out of their hand or take a life one of the two and i'd imagine that the ichiji is going to play that four drop that they just grabbed and evolve essentially into the seven drop from their trash to gain that rush so the sakazuki player thinking about how they want to play this really thinking about the math i don't think that the player on the right has played like a ton of sakazuki maybe they have maybe they have and i'm not sure but it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Sakazuki, a very, very good deck in with a very good player. 
can be really dangerous. And so thinking about taking a life and they're just going to take a life there. I think after seeing that Ichiji there says, you know what, maybe I'll just take that life. And with that Dawn Minusing effect is going to switch with the seven drop and then use leader effect. And so using the leader effect to draw a card and then swing seven with Ichiji going to be immediately getting the Sakazuki down to two life at this point now at five dawn and so decent start for the reiju at this point it's all going to depend on the defense now for the sakazuki how that goes so using leader effect i think it was the eight cost right there hitting the trash and so gonna start off by swinging five if they swing five, what could some of their plays be? Do they have a play to get rid of the Ichiji? But with that 1k counter there, getting that five drop Niji out, it's going to be hard playing the Hina and then using Houndblaze to bottom deck the Ichiji. So best case scenario now for that Sakazuki. You did get two swings at life. Going to be getting either two cards or one card and one life while also getting rid of the Nijiji. So that's an awesome turn for Sakazuki. A lot of players usually pitching the Hina, the starter deck Hina that minuses four on a character, but the Sakazuki player here choosing to hold it in hand in case they needed to do that. So great heads up play by the Sakazuki player in that turn. So the Vinsmoke player, thinking about how they want to do this, going to be trashing a baby Raju. So that two drop Raju there with 1K counter and now moving into five Dawn now, especially since they're now tied at Dawn, that big four drop Raju is active so long as they have five or less cards in hand, going to be able to draw a little bit. And so, Thinking about what they want to do, going to be playing that Germa card, the Germa Searcher card, going to be looking at top five and finding a Germa, and it looks like they've got a couple options in hand as most of the deck is Germa, and it is going to be that uh, four cost, I'm sorry, four cost Raju Vinsmoke that I was talking about in there, and so it looks like they had five cards in hand just right there, I'm trying to see two. I think it was about five. So I would go ahead and play the Raju if they have five cards in hand, either five or six. Because once you play that Raju, you're going to get rid of a card. And it looks like they trashed that Raju. So maybe he has another baby in hand that they want to play. I can't tell through the card flipping, but maybe banking on finding the baby off of this German kingdom they might be able to find it i think i saw at least a sora in there um in this little three search and it looks like they're going to be finding a yonji so the yon the yonji could evolve into that blocker and it looks like they're going to be swinging again so thinking about maybe if it's worth swinging at the tashigi tashigi is a great houndblaze target to be able to start swinging so you could get rid of that but i think they're swinging face at this point so it could just be a regular 1k counter it's going to be another one of the helmepos the helmepos you usually don't play down on your hand and going to be using the baby Reiju, like I mentioned, and going to be using that of evolution effect to get the four that they trashed earlier off the German kingdom. And with five or less cards in hand and less Dawn now than the Sakazuki, now at four, they're going to be able to draw two cards and then draw one more off of the leader effect. Remember, remember your turn once per turn. When a, one of your Dawn cards on the field is returned to your Dawn deck, draw one card. So, especially in combo with all of these evolutions that require minus one Dawn, you can draw a lot of cards in this deck. We saw the strength of Raju Vinsmoke in the last video with the red purple log. Go check it out if you haven't seen that already. But it's also really effective in this deck. And so going to use the rest of the active Dawn to evolve into the blocker Yonji, the blocker Yonji. If you have equal or less Dawn on your field than your opponent, the character gains 1000 powers. So unfortunately doesn't gain cost. So still that four cost leader, very easy for Sakazuki to get rid of overall, but it becomes a 6K blocker to be able to stop 
one of these swings potentially if it stays on the field so thinking about now on the six dawn turn what the sakazuki player wants to do going to be at six going to be drawing right there rob lucci hitting the bin and so thinking about you know where the best placement of this dawn would be and so kind of eyeing up a couple different options right here if i'm thinking about what i want to do i definitely want to get rid of the yonji i don't want the yonji to be able to just stop one of my swings at this point so if you can you know there could be an effective way to use like uh some great eruptions and a rob lucci you do have that swing off of your leader so be able to minus one in that way. A Rob Lucci could be really, really nice here. Or Amano Murakuma costs two less Dawn to be able to bottom deck those two because honestly, bottom decking the cards can be more effective than putting them in the trash in this matchup because a lot of these characters in the Reiju Vinsmoke family deck will evolve from the trash. So bottom decking them is an excellent counter to be able able to make sure that they can't evolve right if all the babies are in the discard pile in the trash you're not gonna you're gonna have to hard play a lot of these characters so maybe trying to figure out how they can do as much bottom decking as possible to really control the board at this point so going to be resting one dawn for that ice age so ice aging the yonji right here and then using Houndblaze to bottom deck that blocker, like I mentioned, for a free 5k swing into lead. That Tashigi, again, just sticking around and being able to do so much damage is that perfect Houndblaze target. And so the Reiju Vinsmoke player thinking about whether or not they want to take life or use one of the counter cards in their hand. They've got not great options in the discard pile only one character that can actually uh evolve the uh ichiji no the niji i'm sorry going to be using a 2k counter kaya off of the 5k swing so this next 5k swing off the hina going to be taking a life and then another 5k swing being countered by the niji and so going to be using the rest of the dawn the four dawn to play rebecca and the rebecca grabbing a rob lucci in hand opting not to play any characters down as they pass the turn on to reju now at five dawn here life is two a piece at this point the reju character did get to survive so that's always nice you like to see that and the perfect card sometimes i guess to trash off of the kingdom of germa search is another germa kingdom because well i d actually do we have anything in format that trashes stages like your opponent's stages i actually don't know anyways going to be looking it's not worth thinking about in this matchup but going to be thinking about what they want to do off of these three cards asking how many cards are in hand it looks like five cards overall in hand going to be going into the how many dawn did they have one two three four five six seven going into the nine dawn turn so the nine dawn turn will be a drop active so we'll see exactly how that goes we know they've got a couple helmeppos in trash the rob lucci and so thinking about this part now they've got to grab something off of this search here and so i'm trying to think about what the best play is for this deck like what do you want to see in this because the more that you dawn minus the harder that this game is going to get late because they'll have so much dawn and you won't be able to catch up in dawn so i would say probably at this point you well do you have you need to trash or no, you can play the Ichiji from hand, I think, correct? Um, let's see, the baby you may play up to one from your hand or trash. So the Ichiji could play that card from hand. So does the Yonji in there and the Niji. Does the Reiju also do that? 
as well. So they all do that. Interesting. Okay. So that gives it a little bit more leeway in terms of, you know, what is exactly in your trash. Because you can't just trash everything as easily as you can in like the Pokemon trading card game, for example. So still thinking on this, the uh, the old Keith here trying to figure out the best option. Going to be a 2K Sora. So the Sora is coming into hand. That is an interesting choice you do get to add a character of 4000 power or less with the vin smoke family type from the trash if you discard a card from your hand and have equal or less dawn on your field than your opponent which is most often all the time for the raju vin smoke card and so thinking now you've got all five dawn here what's the best spread for this do you try to go a little bit more for board do you try to get rid of some of these characters and maybe just try to do some damage or do you try to go for life actually playing that sora now getting rid of another kingdom of germa gonna be grabbing ichiji so looks like maybe has an ichiji in hand going to be grabbing and playing and potentially using the on play effect of the big one so it looks like they are going to be doing that playing that one from hand and reminder that we didn't see it really on the first one but the ichiji on play if you have equal or less dawn on your field than your opponent you can minus 2000 power to one of your opponent's characters for the turn. So probably putting it on that Hina. So swinging 5k now, I would imagine at the Hina, this Ichiji does gain rush as well. So opting for a little bit more of the board control, I think at this point, probably trying to get rid of all those. I would imagine that they all three would swing at these characters. Going to be taking that KO. Now it's time for the Raju Vinsmoke to be swinging in this one and really thinking about whether or not they want to go for the Tashigi or not they did get punished for leaving the Tashigi last time but the opponent would have been at three life this turn so you're trying to figure out which is a better scenario and so going to just be swinging at that Tashigi saying you know what you can't hound blaze this turn and the Ichiji swinging getting rid of the Rebecca now move Sakazuki into their nine dawn turn. If they have the eight drop, they can get one body down from playing eight, two more bodies down from the four and the two. And with the four, if it's a four cost Rebecca blocker, they can get a fourth body down just from all eight dawn. So using leader effect and getting rid of Luchi, maybe eyeing up the Luchi as a potential possibility, even though they already had one in trash for the moira but in this one right now really thinking about where they want to go two life a piece at this point the raju vin smoke having four dawn the sakazuki at nine about four or five cards in hand now for the sakazuki and about five or six i think for the raju because they get to draw cards off of that leader effect so Looks like they got six in hand. So six and five. I was flip-flopped on my uh, numbers there. I know how to count. But Sakazuki, I think what you're trying to do is definitely, definitely bottom deck more characters. Ideally, if you can go ahead and bottom deck with an Amino Morikuma, that would be so strong in this game. So fanning out kind of the discard pile for both players. Only got a couple non kind of bin smoke family type characters in the bin only seeing one kai as well so plenty of 2k counters to be able to utilize only seeing one sora and one kaya up to this point so one thing that you should try to aim for probably as the sakazuki is swinging face with the leader to be able not only to minus one of the characters but especially if you have like i mentioned the amino murakuma which is kind of tough sometimes and maybe you don't want to depend on that and maybe i should stop mentioning it so much because it's usually only a one or two of in sakazuki deck so what is the likelihood 
that they actually have it. It's not like they've been playing Sabo. They've just been seeing kind of two cards per turn off of the leader effect and also the draw for turn. So probably talking out the plays. I know our locals are pretty friendly and these two players are high level players. So really just doing some value testing and theory crafting into like going into Santa Clara regionals this weekend. I know a lot of our people are going to Santa Clara as we live in Las Vegas. It's only a short drive for us compared to a lot of other people. So going to be attaching one dawn swinging six and it looks like they're swinging six at radio and maybe minusing it looks like one for the radio thank you keith for putting that die there to help us out right there and it's going to be a 2k counter miss double finger another one of the 2k counter options in this deck then if it hits trigger could be able to play that down but going to be resting the aid for the gecko moira like i mentioned and going to be using the play so one thing that's interesting in this is I think they're going to be playing Tashigi and Rebecca and so when you play simultaneous effects you do get to choose which one you're doing first so I think Keith kind of going over like going into Santa Clara like you have to announce which one you're playing first before you actually do the thing so making sure that we're all good to go for Santa Clara because it is kind of new cards and new interactions the Tashigi is going to find five cards right there and you're going to be able to grab a navy off of it so really could affect actually depending on what you grab what maybe you want to grab with the Rebecca right and so thinking about one specific card could be a card that you could play off of the Rebecca effect, which will happen right after the Tashigi look at top five is fulfilled. And you're really just trying to eye up different things. Just going to be opting for a 2K counter or Virgo at this point and bottom decking the rest. Now using the Rebecca effect to grab a Hina and playing down the Hina as well. I think what they're really trying to do at this point with that Hina play is just fill the board with bodies to compete next turn with the Reju to be able to knock out or maybe even pressure for game at this point. Not really worried about that on play minus three effect, but more for the pressure that it provides in the next turn. So now with Reju Vinsmoke going, going to be using that stage effect and pitching an Ichiji there. So if they find a baby Ichiji off of this uh, off of this stage or maybe already in their hand, they're going to be able to get another one down at this point and going to be finding a big Niji at least. So going to be thinking about if this is actually the option that they want to choose for this effect they're gonna be at six dawn overall i wonder if they're thinking about hard playing the niji i don't know exactly if i would do that the niji allows you on play to either ko up to one of your opponent's characters that cost two or less or return a four or less to the owner's hand so First playing that Germa Searcher, so still has the opportunity to play the Niji if they wanted to. Going to be looking at the top five and trying to find a piece of the puzzle. Doesn't look like they have found the immediate piece that they were looking for because I feel like they would have slammed it down, honestly, if they had found it. But with the EGG, or with the Niji, I'm sorry, the Niji, if you play down the Niji, you can get that Rebecca put back in hand. The Rebecca is a double-edged sword, though, if you do that, because they can play it down the next turn to grab another character on the field or do something like grab the Rob Lucci and play it down for an effect or something of the sort. But you would be able to get free swings. And so playing the Ichiji, or at least putting it in hand off of that surge, going to be resting for playing that guy down and i would imagine evolving into it so putting that dawn back in the dawn deck switching the dudes and minusing the hina and drawing a card off of leader effects so really really good job finding these 
Ichiji is just continuing to apply pressure, especially as they're rush characters. And so swinging five at that two, not worth countering out or blocking. And so attaching the final Dawn and swinging six with the Reju. Going to be a 2K counter and now swinging sevens with the Ichiji going to be taking the Rebecca on the block for the first one and the second one now really thinking about what they want to do with a 7k swing you're gonna have to either pitch two cards from your hand or take one life with that life though you're going to have to hope that you've got enough counter to survive the next turn potentially you could probably get rid of some of these characters right the Kiko Moira is a 9,000 power body probably can compete and take out one of the Ichijis but the second one is going to have to be taken out via bottom decking effect or Rob Lucci KO. So going in, taking that life, going down to one, one uh, life left. I forgot what the word life was. And now at all 10 dawn. And so that Tashigi there is going to become active again. Another Tashigi just living and surviving. So we'll see if there's a Hound Blaze that comes in we've seen i think two how blazes already in this game so could see two more i mean especially with the searching that goes on with tashigis it's not uncommon for a sakazuki to see three or four in a single game so thinking about swinging with leader first uh before they do anything and i would almost mm, I'm trying to think of what I would rather do. Would I rather swing Sakazuki first or would I rather swing the Ichiji or swing at the Ichiji with the Moria? With the Moria, you'll be able to KO one of the characters or at least that's what you're aiming for. So I guess you're wondering out of the five, six cards in hand, do they have enough counter? And they do going to be countering out of that a two and a one on the ichiji and or i'm sorry on the niji all of, they're all the same they're all ichiji but <laughs> i'm going to be trashing a niji and a sora and so thinking now with the sakazugi going to be swinging five it looks like maybe at lead and minusing the ichiji here it's either five at lead or five uh, at the Reiju. The Reiju would be interesting if you're swinging five at that because if you swung five at the Reiju, you already got two cards in their hand, but it's going to be at lead and taking that life. So one life each at this point. So fanning out the discard pile, maybe some different options. Going to be playing another eight drop. So two Dawn left after this, but going to be able to fill the board entirely going to be finding a Helmeppo and a Rebecca so the Helmeppo effect going to be minusing the Reiju and then the Rebecca going to be grabbing a card it looks like what did they grab there not 100% sure what it was but going to be able to play that down if they want to over the Tashigi so that's good news with the Hina maybe not a Houndblaze and it's got to be an Amino Murakuma to get rid of both of them so that was one thing that I was worried about as the Reiju Vinsmoke player that beautiful gorgeous dangerous really really good card for Sakazuki but you do have one Ichiji that survives it's Debatably not going to survive next turn, though, and it's going to be really, really difficult for you to survive next turn unless you get rid of some of the Morias. The only thing you have to compete with the Morias is that Ichiji. So now I believe at 7 Dawn, correct me if I'm wrong, about 7 Dawn or 8 at this point. Going to be thinking about what they, where they want to be exactly, and it looks like it's going to be 7 overall in this one so the sora not really gonna be a problem and very very heads up by the sakazuki to not even worry about that sora because the sora is not going to be able to compete with the rest of the deck at this point so really just eyeing up a couple different options in this one and so looking around seeing what they can do at this point some friends looking through their discard pile as more and more people are crowded around to look at the board state to see the finals the first place finisher potentially 
in this OPO6 format at this store. So really just thinking and thinking, trying to take as much thought as possible into what the correct line of play is. I think thinking about that Germa, so pitching a Niji right there. So maybe not going to be evolving into a big Niji at this point. And it looks like it's three cards that are not what he's looking for with that little slap down. So really trying to think about a decent discard pile already it looks like it was an ichiji there a little four drop ichiji so if they're not taking that it looks like ichiji the germa searcher and then another card so the ichiji four drop is good but it's only really good if you've got the seven drop either in hand or in trash and we know that there's not one in trash because we would have seen it already the three have been played so far one on the field and two were bottom decked earlier in the game so maybe not too many good options at this point going to be grabbing the baby Niji, they trashed one Niji, going to be playing down another and evolving into the five drop. Going to choose, and it looks like they're going to be putting a Rebecca back in hand, getting that blocker away. And so with four Don left at this point, you could play another character down to evolve, but is that a great choice? I mean... What are your evolving options? I see a Kaya and Sora in hand, as well as already a four drop Ichi. So I think they're running out of options so far at this point. This matchup really interesting because I feel like Yonji just does not matter overall because four is such an easy number to get around as we saw earlier, but Going to start off by swinging seven, it looks like, in life. Maybe trying to go for a game at this point. Now that there's no blockers, we know they got one counter in hand. And going to be pitching Rebecca and Virgo. So going to be playing one for the Kaya. Playing down that Kaya, draw two, trash two. We've seen it a lot in Nami, but now we're seeing it in the Reju Vinsmoke, just excellent for drawing cards, getting those pieces in the discard pile, but also kind of filtering the hand a little bit. I think that's kind of actually just what I said. But anyways, with three Dawn left, going to think about where they want to commit it overall. They can commit it to the Sora, or they can commit it to the Reju. The Sora wouldn't be able to attack with only three dawn overall and so thinking about resting one dawn maybe for that searcher i'm not exactly sure what the second card they trashed from their hand was but really trying to eye there's only four cards in hand for the sakazuki player and maybe attaching all three to the reju gonna actually just swing Base and it looks like it's going to be a 2k counter out going to be attaching the three and swinging at the helmetbo and that might just be it with those kind of expressive hand gestures that uh, old keith does on the left but going into now 10 dawn turn gonna start out by swinging nine has it i don't even think they drew for turn and it looks like i think that's going to potentially be the end of it but Keith is going to trash three cards right there. Two Kayas. Going to be swinging five to get another one. Going to swing five to take a life. And going to be using a BJ on the... I'm just kidding. Anyways, the Sakazuki ends up winning that one. Just ran out of steam. The Reiju deck. And with those bottom decks, just working out really, really well. We've now seen the power of sakazuki in this one and how strong it can be as it showcases itself as in my opinion the best deck of the op06 format thank you so much for these players for again allowing me to record and night and day games for allowing me to record in their store as well i won't show off their exact deck lists 
because with Santa Clara regionals coming up and a lot of our players going to Santa Clara, I don't want to like leak their deck lists, <laughs> right? Uh, just in case, because they are doing a lot of testing with it. They are trying really hard to do as well as they can. But in the comments, I will link some really good lists that we saw out in Japan that you can use if you're looking for a specific deck list of either Reiju or Sakazuki. But aside from that, Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, just have a good day.